had a heart attack uh, two and a half years ago. I had a big heart attack and I went vegan, so I'm vegan. Problem with movies is it's a burger joint and stuff. So luckily the folks at Beyond Meat teamed up with us in West Hollywood, so we were able to offer a menu that's regular and vegan as well. So there's plant-based options. So you could get a cow tipper with regular burgers or you can get a cow tipper made with Beyond Burgers. Um, that to me is delightful. So as a you know vegan, I, I can come and eat at my own joint. I try to say plant-based because when you say vegan, it triggers people. Like, I hate vegans. They don't even know what they're talking about. I try to, I, I went plant-based lifestyle after the heart attack because I had 100% occlusion, blockage in my LAD. It was completely blocked from cholesterol. So the nutritionist at the hospital was like, you might want to start, you know, thinking about trying a diet that's not so high in fats or animal products. And my kid had been vegan for three years at that point. And she really wanted me to go vegan. You know, me almost dying was traumatic for her and stuff. So she was like, please do this. Like, just try it. Go vegan for a little while. I said, all right, I ate the way I wanted to eat for 47 years and I wound up almost dying. I will try your way for two months. And that was two and a half years ago, two, over two and a half years ago. I've been vegan ever since. Um, I'm not a clean vegan where I'm like, give me, Give me uh, salads, give me tomatoes, give me kumquats. I'm a dirty vegan, like I like Beyond Burgers, but everything I eat is plant-based. There's not a single animal food product in there, no milk, no cheeses, no meats, nothing like that. I hike mile and a half every day straight, well it's two and a half miles total, but it's a mile and a half straight up a hill on Runyon Canyon and stuff, so that helps as well. Like I used to be very sedentary. And so I had to turn that around. And now I get up at 7, 8 in the morning and I go trudging up this hill because I don't... Look, I'm going to die one day. I just don't want to die in my 40s and that's over. Now I'm in my 50s. I don't want to die in my 50s either. I want to stick around for as long as I can. Thank God I didn't die two and a half years ago. I never would have seen movies come to life. So there's a reason for me to become and stay plant-based. The harder aspect of losing weight, honestly, I think is probably the, the psychological aspect. Um, I, I'm a, a big intermittent faster um, and have been since my heart attack. So that means I, I eat on a clock that's a little different than most. I eat on a, a technically I'm on a 20 slash four clock, which means 20 hours of the day I'm fasting and I have a four hour eating window. I'll, I always like more. Being an American is like enjoying more and having more. And this tastes great. And this is about freedom to do what I want. I'm going to eat this. Sometimes you pay for that and stuff like that. And I paid for it. I wound up on a table with a Widowmaker heart attack. If you're one of those cats that's just like, I don't think I could do it. Like, um, in terms of the fast, even tough for me, like even though I do it on a regular basis, first 24 hours the absolute toughest because we're engineered from birth, you know, in, in the culture we live in. Like, you gotta get up, you gotta eat, because that starts your day, that's put gas in the tank, and that's just like patently untrue. So, you know, it's never too late to learn new, new activities, new habits, uh, new healthy habits. Um, do it independent research. Read up on it, don't listen to this guy. Silent Bob should not be giving anyone nutritional information, but this is the stuff that works for me. Uh, of course, Jane Silent Bob Secret Stash. We've had a comic book store here in town on Broad Street uh, for 22 years at this point. Brick and mortar, still standing. Um, let's see, Jack's Music is right across the street. We shot a lot of Chasing Amy there. Um, uh, let me see, what else do you go to? Um, Surf Taco, finest uh, Baja Tex-Mex food you can get here in, well, maybe not the finest. It's <laughs> perhaps not accurate, but really good. Right on Broad Street, very local and right next to the stand. Um, uh, I was always a big fan when I lived here of, of Carlos O'Connor's. I don't know if he's still running. Loved Carlos O'Connor's. Um, but uh, for me, uh, like whenever I drive around, uh, it's nostalgia heaven. Like the Charles Schwab offices, that's where Felicia's Follies, the video store used to be. So like, I'll cruise by there because I spent a lot of time in the video store when I was a kid. But when I'm in Red Bank, I spend the majority of my time at the secret store.